Hello, I hope you guys are all doing great. This is the nail art design we will be working on this Friday. It's very simple to do. The first thing you'll have to do is choose two nail polish colors of your choice. The colors I chose for this Friday are pink and red, and as an accent color, a black. So the first thing you're going to have to do is a French manicure. The reason I started off with a French manicure, it'll help your colors be darker once you apply your guidelines and the second reason it'll help you apply your guidelines exactly where you want them and when you need to go into the deep corners of the pink you'll already have the pink in the background so let's get started I'm gonna get a black nail art polish with a thin tip brush and I'm going to create those guidelines you see so I'm gonna thin out my brush as thin as I can get it and all we'll be doing is three guidelines going sideways those three lines you see there so I'm going to start in the middle of my French manicure and I'm going to swerve it up all the way till I get to the other corner. So you want to get it swervy so it, they're not straight lines. So I'm going to start, let me see, over on this area. Oh, there we go. And I'm going to swerve it all the way till I get across to that side. Okay, the next one we're going to apply. and don't worry about them being perfect. I mean, you can see that I went out a little bit out of the line there, but you can fix that a little bit later. I'm going to close it off to this corner there. I do want it to be closed off. So we have our first stripe there. The next one I'm going to be doing is the second line you see there. The second one. That one right there. So I'm going to start over on this area. And I'm going to curl it a little and we're going to bring it all the way across to that side as well. So we've done our two swervies. The last one I'm going to do is going to be this one you see over here. The last one. So I'm going to also curl this one a little bit but towards the other direction. Um, this one's going this way. This little curl, I'm going to do the curl going lower and that way. Okay. So we've done them curly. We have our three curlies there. The next thing I'm going to do is, in the very corner of my uh, swerves, you see a line. So I'm going to close those off. So I'm going to get my nail art polish. And this is a very simple, quick design to do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to close them off. So that's the reason for the little curlies at the end. So you're rounding them off. That's all we're doing. We're rounding off our corners. So now I'm going to close this one off in a swervy manner, just the same. So there we have closed them off. The next thing I'm going to do is you have to get the two colors that you chose. And maybe after we're done applying the color, we'll have to go back in and redo the black lines, just so they could be a little bit more defined. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get my red nail polish that I chose. You go ahead and get the color that you chose, and I'm going to fill in this top area with red. So I'm going to get my red nail polish and all I'm going to do is go in and fill it in. As close as you can to the line and if you get to touching the line don't worry about it you can go back in with your black nail art polish and fix that. The next color is the pink one. So all I'm going to do is I won't have to go in too deep because I already have my pink there, but I will have to fill in that area. So I'm going to go in, and all I have to do is fill this area in, which is why I said it's good that you start off with the French manicure. That way, once you do this, you don't have to go all the way in to the more difficult areas. So then we've done our pink area there. I'm going to get my red nail polish again, and I'm going to fill in this area with the red. So I'm going to be getting a thin tip brush to get into those areas right here. So all I'm going to do is very carefully fill in that area. But remember, if you do mess up and you do touch some of the black lines, you could just go back in, remember, and fill in the black lines again, which I had to do with some of the with some of the nails. So all I'm doing is trying to go and if you need to go over it twice you can allow it to dry and then go over it twice. Try 
third corner. Okay, so we've done that one in red. Now this little corner here, we're going to do it in pink. And take baby steps that way. Um, don't fill up your brush too horribly much because you don't want it to. Take your time. That way you follow the guidelines taking your time. So that's what we've done so far. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get my glopping piece of paper and I'm going to be glopping it with black nail polish and I'm going to glop it because I'm going to do, be doing the very simple three dots you see there and I didn't want to go too crazy with the dots so I decided to just add three little dots so I'm using not the smallest part of my nail dotter but just a small dot and all I'm going to do is three dots so I'm going to do one two and three. You're going to follow the guidelines you make according to where you put your guidelines. But you probably will have to go over them again as I will have to do with my nails. I have to go over the colors one more time and then apply my top coat. But it's a very simple quick design to do and I think it's very pretty especially because you can choose the colors that you want to use. Well that's it you guys. I hope you guys like this design and try it out. Be safe and I'll see you next time. Bye!